Okay, so this is my book that, as I said, is not out yet. It's called The Undertaking of Lily Chen. So this will be an experiment in a new, um, train, a new type of reading from a graphic novel. All right. After that fun, upbeat song, <laughs> <laughs> my brother died. <laughs> How can I put it? My brother is dead, has been made dead, was killed, is gone. So that sucks, but it gets worse. It's terrible, my mother said. It's terrible for a man to go alone into the other world without a friend, without a wife. So lonely, my father said. My brother, my older brother, unmarried and dead. My brother, or my brother's ghost, is lonely, and I have to fix it. Who will hold his hand as he approaches the gates of heaven? Who will lie with him in the dark, eternal bedroom? My mother said, find him someone. Find him a wife. So I go. I go to the matchmaker. I'm looking for a wife, I tell her, for my brother, who is dead. <laughs> oh, no, you don't, she says. I'm not just a matchmaker. I am the facilitator of heavenly union of eternal conventional love. I don't do gays. I don't do groups. I don't do ghosts, she says. Great, I say. Thanks for nothing. But wait. As luck would have it, the old hag knows a guy. She says, he might be able to, well, just don't mention my name. She gives me his business card and shuts the door. In the frail morning dim before the day, I read his card, this <laughs> Song X, Mr. Song, specialist in special projects. <laughs> Count on song when things go wrong. <laughs> I call the number. <laughs> Mr. Song answers the phone. His voice scours like rock on rock. I am looking for a wife, I tell him, for my brother, who is dead. Mr. Song does not hang up on me. He says, I'm sorry to hear that. How much you got? <coughs> I tell him the sum that my parents have allotted me, minus a small stipend for my own travel expenses, and he does not hang up on me. In fact, he seems pleased by my appraisal. And so I kick myself. I must have offered too much, but the offer has been made and we arrange to meet. I make my way through the streets of Yun Tai as the sun rises over the eastern ridge. A woman sweeps the cobblestones outside the bakery but doesn't look up as I pass. A couple of miners stand smoking on the corner of the park. Otherwise, the city is quiet. Who is this Mr. Song? He's my only hope. I imagine him to be a powerful man versed in the dark arts of love and death. I am an idiot, wanted by the police for questioning regarding the circumstances of my brother's death. Unwanted by my parents, though that may have been the, ca the case in advance of my brother's death. Can I just say, I don't really believe in ghosts. I could be convinced, but I'd have to see one to believe it. I do, however, believe that it is possible to be haunted by your parents, by your own regrets, by your own failures. My mother told me what to do. So here I go with a bag full of cash to meet Mr. Song, my hope, my hero. Mr. Song will help me. He knows where to find a body, he says. 
he knows just the spot. Danica, not quite off.